If anyone builds it, everyone dies. What a thing to say. But that is exactly the title of a very dystopian sounding book by Eliezer Yutkovsky, which is Super Intelligence. So what exactly is this idea of super intelligence? And is it so dangerous that if anybody builds it, everyone dies? Hello dear learners, students and friends. Welcome to Billion Hopes. This is Sandeep Manudhane, mentor Sandy, bringing you AI for Real Impact. Let's dive into this and find out what super intelligence is and is it really as dangerous as it is made out to be. Let's start. On super intelligence, welcome to my playlist AI and the future of humanity. Wonderful videos given in this playlist. Make sure you check it out. And do check out all the other videos on the beautiful channel Billion Hope. We have excellent membership options also. Click join and check out. This book by uh, Eliezer Yudkovsky caught my attention, where the two authors actually very clearly make a case that no company or no group of people should end up inventing something like super intelligence because the consequences would be absolutely catastrophic. Because they feel that. A recursively improving intelligence would end up dominating everything and even without any kind of a wrong intention, it will simply do things that it should not be doing. Is it really so? Let's go into the definition. Let's see the various facets of it, the pros and cons of it and how close are we to that eventuality. Let's dive into it on super intelligence. Before I move on, we have a beautiful AI newsletter, very high value AI newsletter, 105 issues every year. You can subscribe to it straight away. The link is given. And the beauty is you can read all the editions on the web also in a password protected region of our site. So go ahead and subscribe right now to this high value AI for everyone newsletter that thousands are benefiting from. This is the book by Eliezer Yudkowsky, which says, if anyone builds it, everyone dies. So that's a very definitive kind of a statement being made. Why superhuman AI would literally kill us all? So that naturally begs the question, how do we define super intelligence? So the very standard copybook or academic definition for super intelligence would be any artificial intelligence, which is a non-human intelligence which is better by a huge margin than the best of the human mind in reasoning, learning, creativity, decision making and problem solving across all domains. Now, so far, these are uniquely, precisely human attributes. These specific skills are restricted to the human society, the human beings, homo sapiens. Over millions of years, this is how we have evolved, this is where we have reached and this is what we have become. And the machines we are making, the AI systems that we are evolving, they can simulate us, but they cannot actually do it, right? It's the difference between having a map and having a territory. If you have the map, you cannot claim that you have the territory as well. So human beings have these things as the territory. AI has the map because it simulates. But anyway, so the authors actually say that if anyone ever builds such a thing, Eliezer Yudkowsky and Nate Soares, this would be their definition of super intelligence. So what is the problem? Can we not just make it work for us? Actually, to many minds, to many human beings and to many people and professionals in the AI field that I have interacted with, once the discussion moves away from the tactical and the operational and goes into the strategic, they feel what is wrong with it. If we can have super intelligence, we can make it work for us to uplift the entire humanity. But the problem that irritations on intelligence actually tell us seems to be that super intelligence is risky precisely because a system which is much, much smarter than humans will be misaligned. Misaligned with what? It will be misaligned with the goal that human society should have as per human values. Uh, looking at the state of the world today, I believe that the whole debate around human values itself has gotten misaligned. Humans have gotten misaligned to some extent. But let's worry about the AI right now. 
it lag beyond our control that actually is a huge huge issue and exploit vulnerabilities and cause irreversible harm without needing intent emotion or malice so 50 years ago there was a movie made the forbin project f o r b i n the forbin project the whole movie is available on vimeo i think i saw it many years ago and way back in the 70s the writer and director of that movie actually had foreseen what we might be discussing here in the late 2020s anyway i would suggest you watch that movie once the forbin project those fears those apprehensions are captured in these specific ideas here and in books like these which are actually slowly becoming best sellers because people feel that this may be an eventuality unless our governance systems scale up immediately recognizing these problems and reacting to them in a very rational way so when we talk about super intelligence what are the risks and challenges this is what we should be focusing on now first of all we talk about the existential risk the risk in terms of the super intelligence literally deciding to wipe out humanity not because it wanted to wipe it out but because that is the natural course of its evolution catastrophic outcomes completely misaligned with human values and uncontrollable escalation because it is self recursively intelligent and so it doesn't even need human beings to improve it any further challenges as i said alignment problem so how do you teach it human values actually as we are moving towards the end of the decade of 2020s we can see that humanity is at war with itself and there are multiple and conflicting versions of what constitutes humanity what exactly are human values and are there universal human values or not or is tribalism nativism and parochialism are only destiny so in such an environment when we are generating ai which is very powerful maybe it will reject these values maybe it really will not be human which in a very ironic way will be good for us or maybe it will become just too human which will be a problem for us capability versus control dilemma the forbin project talked about that and the off switch problem i mean you need to have a kill switch in all these uh, discussions on robotics we are instinctively reminded of the three laws of robotics by isaac asimov which should ideally be the foundation of anything we do with super intelligent structures especially with super intelligent ai which we plan to put in the real 3d physical world so the urgent considerations being that we seem to be running out because time is running out for safety research and the products are hitting the market faster than the research on safety is the second concern is global cooperation needed all countries must agree and robust safety measures are needed so this is a primary debate on super intelligence so if we whittle it down to seven points the first warning is very clear independent action and mismatches this is the real fear of all those who are working on ai or all those who are not but using ai and even those who are watching from the sidelines that it may start acting independently so this brings us again back to the issue of kill switch and very small goal mismatch can mismatches can actually escalate into something very very big which humanity may not be ready for entire survival could be at stake opaque reasoning and lack of control so as we know that all the ai models are fundamentally works of optimization you end up optimizing the whole thing they are not perfect they are optimized and because they are so huge now and because their understanding and pattern recognition which is probabilistic is divided over millions of artificial neurons basically arithmetic and mathematical structure we just don't know why a decision that an llm took was taken and overall it surpasses so this is the black box problem the global race dynamic so america is competing with china competing with europe competing with japan competing with india everyone wants to outdo the other in terms of either foundational models in terms of the latest ai chips that we need in terms of the machines like asml that make the chips in terms of <coughs> algorithmic superiority everything so people companies countries are willing to outdo each other 
where that lands all of us, no one knows today. But more than collaboration, we just see competition. As long as the competition improves consumer outcomes, it's fine. But here, this is strategy because man never invented intelligence before. Another very dangerous output could be harm without malice. AI may end up doing harm without being malicious because it may simply pursue goals out of sheer desire for efficiency, not because of malice. Now, that speaks a lot about humanity itself. Then, another aspect of this story is we just may have not baked into superintelligence enough safety methods. So, our narrow AI today, so AI is of two types, narrow AI, which is very, very good. You have a chatbot to handle customer queries, it's doing wonderfully well, that's a narrow AI. General AI, which we have not been able to make so far, and the extreme version of general AI, which is super intelligence, we just may not have even thought of the safety measures there. And of course, these are major issues too. So that brings us to the idea that we now actually confront the possibility that super intelligent AI may arrive. The kind of growth and improvement and sudden jumps we are seeing in the capability of AI systems. January 2025, the coding being done by AI system was rather minimal and inferior. One year on, January 2026, you have the latest model, Cloud Opus 4.5, which the expert developers and coders say is one light year ahead. So you suddenly have models dropping in, which are a world of capability upgraded. Maybe this will continue and maybe there will be no AGI. One doesn't know. But then one has to be prepared. Mankind has to be prepared. So that's the whole idea behind super intelligence. So if we were to revise the whole thing, the idea here is that this book, like many other in its category, is a warning that mankind should put its head together. Otherwise, we just may get enslaved. As we saw in Matrix, when mankind was united in rejoicing over its birth to AI, which ended up taking it over. A basic definition and why it is risky. Some key challenges and seven key dimensions and facets of discussion. I hope you enjoyed this discussion. I'm also certain you will absolutely enjoy our membership tiers. Press the join button on our channel and you will see three tiers of membership. Go ahead and join with full confidence. Absolutely awesome content awaits you. I hope to see you as part of the membership. Please go to our academy to check out some wonderful courses. If you're a beginner, the Like I Am 10 series of three courses, AI Like I Am 10, Gen AI Like I Am 10 and AI Technicals Like I Am 10 is exactly meant for you. Go ahead and enroll in the bundle. And if you're a corporate professional, we have beautiful courses like Force Multiplier and CXO AI Mentoring just for you. So, what do you think about super intelligence? And where do you think this whole debate is headed? How much of AI are you using in your day-to-day -day work? It would be lovely hearing from you in the comment thread. And if you do not agree with any of the things which I said and the speculations I actually made, I mean, these definitely are speculations because I'm not sure where we are headed. In fact, nobody is. Not even the president of the US would be in a position with the best of advisors to predict where we would be in Jan 2027 or 8. So give your idea on this in the comment thread. Please make sure you like and subscribe, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Share with me some other topics that you would want me to take up. This is Mentor Sandy bringing you AI for real impact. See you soon. Thank you.